I've had a lot of success doing advocacy and raising awareness on neglected tropical diseases of the poor in places like Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. We were able to work with the U.S. Congress and get money appropriated for treating more than a billion people with neglected tropical diseases, predominantly in Sub-Saharan Africa, South, Southeast Asia. And then when we started finding widespread neglected tropical diseases among the poor, in the southern U.S., I thought, wow, this thing's really going to take off. People, this is going to create a lot of awareness and interest, and maybe we'll really take on these NTDs in, in a big way. But th it's been very disappointing. The opposite has happened. It's, it's been getting much harder to get people to care about neglected tropical diseases in, in the U.S. And so I started to ask why. You know, why, why is it? So I, I had um, a role in the Obama administration as U.S. science envoy trying to build up vaccine development activities across Muslim-majority countries in the Middle East uh, and elsewhere. So I went back to my colleagues at the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy to ask them, you know, what, what was it about NTDs in Africa, neglected tropical diseases in Africa, that stimulated a lot of action, whereas here, now it's nothing? And, and the answer was not a great answer. It was, you know, you know, they said, Peter, when you told us about neglected tropical diseases in Africa, you told us about a, a rapid impact package, as you call it, that uh, you could deliver for 40 cents a person per year. Now, when we talk about when I talk about neglected tropical diseases in the U.S., you're talking about going into affected communities, doing active surveillance studies, uh, trying to measure prevalence, looking at modes of transmission you're giving us a more complicated story. Uh, but to me, that's a bit of an excuse. I think, you know, the real reason is that what rises to the occasion here in the U.S. is what gets media attention on the network news and cable news, and that is basically uh, diseases of wealthy suburbs in northeastern cities, right? It, you know, what gets on TV is what s concerns people in Brookline, Massachusetts, and the suburbs of Chicago and Bethesda, Maryland and Silicon Valley, people really don't care about the, as much about the poor living in the southern part of the U.S. or what some call this flyover nation concept.